Guys, I've been using this welder for a while now and I am really impressed with its versatility. This welder can do MIG welding, flux core, stick welding, tick welding. It can do aluminum with a spool gun. You can do spot welding. There is so much things that you can do with this welder. So our captain was very, very generous and decided to send to the channel their multi-process welder MIG-250. What I want to do today is review it and let you know how this thing will. We're going to have a few different thickness of steel in there to check it out. I want to weld it and show you what this is all about. And I want you to decide if this welder is good enough to accomplish all your needs. All right guys, so this is what you're going to get in the box. You're going to get a gas hose. You're going to get your adapter for 220 volts or 110 volts. You're gonna get a electrode holder. You're gonna get some torch accessories and rollers. You're gonna get the welding torch. You're gonna get a ground clamp and your welding machine. The thing I like about this machine the most is how easy it is to just change the interface to change from MIG welding to um, stick welding or even if you buy the different adapter for a spool gun you can do aluminum uh, and you'll just connect that adapter right here and it will be just like MIG welding but with aluminum so it is so convenient right so portable you have a light on the inside of the welding machine that lets you see if you have any trouble with your um, wire so super easy to just change your wire um, diameter and it'll go from 23 to 40 to 0.40 thousand of an inch super easy to change your mode make welding mma tick welding and spool gun with mic um, you can change your type of gas which is going to be a mix i mean everything is so simple but not just that you can also Put it in synergy mode which it will allow you to just use one nut to adjust your um, voltage and the machine pretty much adjust the wire speed for you based on how much heat you want to put in it um, make it super simple however if you want to tweak a little bit more into the machine you can get out of it and then just do it manually adjust your voltage manually you can go all the way to 28 volts and then go down on your um, wire speed so if you're thinking that the synergy mode is not really giving you what you need you can get out of it and just tweak it yourself so here is a quarter of an inch we're gonna start with this we're gonna start um, just doing MIG welding this is gonna be a mix between argon and co2 7525 and I just want to show you the quality of the welds of this machine All right, boys, let's crank the power up to its max. This is a three quarter of an inch that I cut with a plasma cutter. And I just want to weld it with its max power, which is 250 amps and 28 volts. So let's see what we got. Man, that was nice. Put in the machine at all the amperage that you can get, which is 250 amps, 28 volts. 
you can start welding and you can see that material like start melting through so you have to start moving through that weld you know what i mean it is so nice knowing what the machine can do right that's a uh, three quarter of an inch and i'm pretty sure you can weld that no problem with this machine so as far as projects go and what can you do with this thing uh, your imagination is as far as you can go, right? You can do any from automotive or if you got hobbies or you want to start learning how to weld, you can do pretty much anything with this machine. So I do like it. Let's put some uh, 6013 rods in it and let's start doing some stick welding and see how it does. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these other side of these peas and see what it look like. I will say for a first pass, that's actually not bad for a stick weld, you know, it looked very decent and I'm pretty sure it will hold. Uh, we're gonna bang on this thing and make sure. Nothing. So far, so good. And that was the stick welding. Now that is stick welding as well. That was MIG. All right guys, I got the machine set for spot welding. I'm just gonna use these for sample. And I just want to make a few spots and make sure that those that they look very identical like they should be Okay, so I had to open the garage because it was getting smoky in here. Here is the 1.8 with the um, spot welding, which you can see on the other side the discoloration of the penetration of the heat. So that's a good thing. However, what I want to do is I want to try to weld this thing 
together without melting it through with one single pass, not tacking it like most people would probably do. So here you go guys, this is uh, 1 8 of an inch, super thin, look at that. And I did not burn it through, which is really what I was aiming for. Not my most beautiful weld, but I mean, you can grind it or you can leave it as is. It's, just, it's gonna hold the material and you're not burning through or just stacking the same material over and over and over, which just seems to be like what most people do when they work with this type of material really thin um, you can see on the other side it has a little bit of discoloration uh, from the heat That's all I have for you today. I really love this machine, the MiG-250. Um, I know a lot of people will have the questions like, what's the difference between the MiG-250 and the MiG-200, aside from price? Well, the amperage. This thing, it has a lot more power. The MiG-200, you only go to 200 amps. This one will go to 250 amps, which it can definitely throw some heat in it. So, uh, I don't doubt that this machine, it can fulfill Pretty much any project that you have like i say i've been using this thing for a while now and i love it so i would recommend it to you if you want to buy this equipment i'm gonna leave a link in the description and i'm pretty sure that if you put a code of gabe's garage you get a five percent off so don't forget to do that and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and that's it for today guys so i hope you like it